welcome back to my channel. Lately I've had a lot of clients come into the bakery and ask for specifically golf cupcakes so I thought I would share with you just some basic simple uh, ideas that you guys can make at home and if you haven't already don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started. Let's start out by rolling out the flag. So I'm just going to roll out a very thin sheet of bread fondant and cut it into a little triangle and with my base of a toothpick I'm just going to wrap that around the one end and if you need to you can just put a little bit of water just to make sure that it actually just stays there in place. And next we're going to make two little white golf balls so to make sure that they are the exact same size I normally just get one slightly larger ball and then I just cut it in half to have two equally sized golf balls and for the one slightly larger golf ball we are going to roll that with our hands and with our sculpting tool we're just going to indent all along the bottom and work our way to the top For the club, we're going just to roll it out and I'm just going to roll it out a little bit thinner on one side and then going to bend and then cut the excess. And with my sculpting tool, I'm just going to go back at the bottom and just sculpt in a few little lines and don't worry about the color, we will go back later and paint it over. Now that I have all my cupcake toppers, this is normally the time that I go and I steam all my fondant work. After you let it dry, then you can go back and paint it. For the flag, I'm just going to go back and paint with a little bit of black food coloring in the number. And for the club, I'm going to use some silver luster dust and with the handle, just paint a little bit of black on the top. I normally find that it's easier when you are painting with luster dust. If the base is already similar to that color, like I'm having a the base of the club is already gray and I'm trying just to paint it silver rather than if I'm just starting with um, a different color like like white or yellow or red. You gotta make sure that if you miss any spots or if you didn't make it thick enough that you're not gonna be able just to see through that other color. Now that we have all of our cupcake toppers done, now it's time to ice some cupcakes. So today we're going to be using the grass tip number 233 Wilton and I always work from the outside of my cupcake and work in. So you want to make sure that when you are piping the grass that you are pulling just straight up with your piping bag. Just remember that grass goes straight up, it doesn't go to the sides or down or anything. So that is one helpful tool that I hope you guys take with you. And for the one cupcake that has a little bit of looks like sand. That is just a little bit of brown sugar that I just place with lightly with a little spoon. Now that I have all my cupcakes iced, then you can put on your cupcake toppers. And there you have it, some really cute golf cupcakes, perfect for either Father's Day or birthdays. Don't forget to tag me in all of your photos. Hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you next time.